Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you are having an issue with the email app on your Windows 10 device. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and start this tutorial off by opening up the Start menu. You want to go type in Apps. And one of the best matches should come back with apps and features. You want to go ahead and just off click on that. You can also just get to that by going through the main settings page and then selecting apps on the tile screen. So you have a couple options there. And now in the search this list field, you want to go ahead and just click inside of it. And you want to go type in mail. And best results should come back with mail and calendar. Go ahead and left click on that and then select advanced options. You want to scroll down on this page where you get to uh, reset. If this app isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. You want to go ahead and select reset. Delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign in details. Go ahead and select reset. And once that's done, you want to close out of here and restart your computer. Okay, so once you are back into Windows here, you want to go ahead and open up the Start menu. Type in Windows PowerShell. Best match should come back with Windows PowerShell. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. Now I'm going to have a couple of commands in the description of the video. I want you guys to copy each one one at a time. And then you're going to go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window for the first one, right click on it, select edit, and then paste it in once you've copied it to your clipboard. Give it a moment to run here. And once you have a blinking cursor at the end, you want to go copy to the next one, DISM command this time, and you're going to paste it in the same way we did the first one. And it should see the operation completed successfully. So at this point, again, reboot your computer and then the email app should work again. So pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.